today's Health Watch, a new grant that will help the healthcare worker shortage. Local 5's Connie Feldman reports on a plan to make practicing nurses nursing teachers. We've reported on the projected nursing shortage our state faces, but currently there's a limit to how many students can actually be admitted to nursing programs because of a shortage of nursing faculty. This initiative aims to change that. Some people call it the bow tie. Okay. We have a lot of students interested in nursing and uh, our healthcare system has a high need for nurses and right in the middle are those nurse educators, uh, which is a de declining pool. The Dean of UW-Green Bay's College of Health, Education and Social Welfare, Susan gallagher Lepak, explains how the current system has created a bottleneck for aspiring nurses. We need to think creatively and create new ideas and new opportunities to really build that pipeline of nursing faculty. As one of those creative new ideas, the school will use up to $376,000 in grant funds for an innovative program training current nurses at Aurora Bay Care Medical Center to be co-clinical instructors. It's exciting because we are, you know, at the bedside in the hospital and so we kind of know what's going on and, and it's exciting to be able to share that with the students and help them to you know apply what they're learning in the classroom in in the hospital setting. And a hospital setting doesn't get any more real than the simulation center at Aurora Bay Care. That's where seasoned nursing professionals can help guide nursing students in something called soft skills. How to build rapport with patients, how to listen, and how to discuss things that can be difficult. Being able to have um, conversations to help comfort them is really something that you have to practice and a lot of students are generally nervous to have those conversations because they don't want to say you know the wrong thing. Something you can't learn in a classroom but is a large part of the art, science and complex discipline involved in being a nurse. We are helping students learn and cultivate behaviors to be compassionate, caring, respectful, supportive, culturally aware and unbiased in their attitudes toward individuals. The Workforce Innovation Grants are part of a $128 million investment in building Wisconsin's workforce. To learn more, visit aurorabaycare.com or use their LiveWell app. You can always just give them a call too. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Feldman, Local 5 News.